Hello, I'm Chrissy Parthaini and I'm a curator at the uh, World Museum, National Museums Liverpool. We're here to talk today about um, decoration on ancient Greek vases, two distinct styles, black figures on red background and red figure technique on black background. Most of the people think of the colours and the decoration they see in vases as um, the result of painting on them. But actually what is really fascinating to know is that this is just the result of the firing process. We're looking at a Greek amphora, an Attic Greek amphora, decorated in the black uh, figure on red. The main scene on the amphora is, as you can see, a scene of two warriors uh, seated on boxes. There's another box in the middle um, where they seem to be gesticulating, playing a board game or a dice game. Both of them are wearing their helmets with a the crest. They're holding on to the spear, so they haven't actually left their weapons away. Um, their seals are on their back, so they look like um, they're having a moment of a break or quick break or relaxation. The goddess in the middle um, is Athena holding a spear and with her helmet. The scene is a popular scene in Attic Greek uh, vase painting. So the left one uh, would be Achilles and the right one would be Ajax. And they were both warriors of the Greek camp. So at the back of the amphora, the other side is also decorated in the black figure technique. And you have the god Dionysus holding a cantharos, um, a Greek vessel for drinking, um, and two of the companions, uh, Menads, dressed with long um, chiton and a matio, and holding perhaps grapevines. So it's a celebration of the god Dionysus and it's a, a scene that's really good and fitting to the vessel because um, amphoras would often be carrying wine. We're looking at a bell crater from um, Lady Lever Art Gallery's collections. We return back to the theme of um, decoration on the vases and we've got the red figure technique in this case on a black background. We have a very different um, scene. Um, we can all recognize um, the mythical beast, the Sphinx, half woman lion um, with wings um, there. And uh, she seems to be advancing on a seated youth um, who is um, wearing a pillows, um, the hat, and holding um, a spear or a staff. Behind him, there are two more um, men. Um, one is wearing a wreath and the other one is wearing the pillows. They're both standing and sort of gesticulating or uh, pointing. One is, seems to be pointing at the Sphinx and the other one seems to be uh, raising his hand, um, greeting the hero or the Sphinx or acknowledging the beast. Um, and again, behind the Sphinx, um, we have two more men. One is bearded and wearing a wreath and the other one is um, standing and wearing the pillows. But they're holding a very different um, type of thing. They're holding a club. The Sphinx seems to be more advancing to the youth. The Sphinx was sent to punish the Thebians. Oedipus was the one who resolved uh, the riddle of Sphinx and s saved the Thebians uh, from the punishment of Hera. The Sphinx would eat anyone who would not resolve the uh, riddle. It's really interesting to think how it's again relayed in a very confined space and there's some attempt to show the natural environment, maybe a tree or a branch, and we turn it around. The other side is rather less tragic and um, just portrays maybe three youths um, wearing long cloaks. The painter um, this vase is attributed uh, to is the Medea's painter, a um, very famous uh, painter from 5th century BC.